Honkai Star Rail has dropped a new video 8 hours ago which is keeping up with Star Rail, Hanya, Big Gone to Overtime and Mara. Well, considering the fact that I might get Hanya eventually, but not but not right now, I might get Hanya sometime later in the future. So I might consider check out her, how her gameplay works. And just so you know, I will not bother reacting to this elegant yet edgy character. No, no, no I'm not gonna bother. Without further ado, let's check out the video keeping up with Staril, Hanya, be gone to Overtime and Mara. The Shackling Prison, Mara struck. You probably heard these words many times before, mm -hmm. but still know little about the Ten Lords Commission. Crime and punishment, life and death, spirit bearer. Do you sense a chill when you hear these words? They arouse your curiosity, but remain out of reach. Sinister, hidden, restricted from outsiders. Are you puzzled as to whether the Ten Lords are friends or foes? Why do they seem elusive, yet appear unexpectedly when the chill runs down your spine? Great news, everyone! As your trusted companion in interstellar travels, thinking what you're thinking, reaching where you want to go, has always been our motto. After some hard work, of which specifics I can't disclose, this episode brings you an exclusive scoop! The Mysterious Cienjo Ten Lords Commission Part 2! The benchmark for the current judges in the Ten Lords Commission! Hanya! He's She's a physical harmony. type character on the path of harmony. Mm -hmm. There are not many judges like Hanya, who seems to be detached from the world while still having a grounded human heart. Judges' duties are detention, incarceration, punishment, and Hanya's focus, interrogation. Okay. It is said that she reads the memories of countless Mara struck through Oniromancy every day in her Ten Lords Commission coffin, writing her punishments using her Oracle Brush. Hanya's basic attack uses this oracle brush to deal physical damage to a target enemy based on her attack. If your sins are severe, don't blame Judge Hanya for being cold and ruthless. Using her skill, Judge Hanya throws out a netherworld token and the world immediately turns dark. Shackles emerge from the flickering green light, okay. dealing physical damage based on Hanya's attack to the target enemy and mark the sinner with burden. Okay. Every time allies use Push basic attack, skill, or ultimate twice on an enemy with burden, they will recover one skill point. This recovery okay. effect will expire after being triggered a certain number of times. Okay. If burden has been applied to multiple enemies, this will only take effect for the most recently inflicted target. Oh, Concerned okay. about a vast power gap and boy, but burden do you have, do you really have an enemy is defeated on the, before on the nice with Judge nice Hanya in play, all's under control. If the skill points well, are covered by Burton before the audience too a well, one or you, less, you, you, you decided Burton to give us some additional of fan one service. skill point. Somewhere in here, somewhere also, in every when allies strike videos. enemies with Burton, they receive a damage boost that lasts for several turns. Mm -hmm. Those deemed guilty by Judge Hanya have nowhere to run. That's because Judge Hanya always takes the initiative, striking enemies with her technique right away, and will also plan ahead and inflict a random enemy with burden after entering battle. According okay. to insiders, the secret operations of the Ten Lords Commission are extremely dangerous, and the judges need to work together to capture terrible criminals, many of whom are dangerous desperados. As an experienced judge, Hanya is well-versed in teamwork. After using her ultimate, Hanya will increase the speed and attack of the target ally for a certain number of turns. Single target? An insider brought us a confidential video of Judge Hanya uh, in battle. In the footage, Judge Hanya is performing her official duties when she comes upon some foes. She remains unfazed and immediately uses her skill to inflict burden on an enemy. Mm -hmm. During this time, as long as allies attack enemies with burden, they obtain a steady stream of skill points. <laughs> her allies intuitively understood. The trailblazer used a skill against the enemy and gained a skill point through triggering burden. After Dong Hun uses his skill on the enemy, March 7th utilizes the skill point obtained from burden to protect allies with low HP. After Judge Hana uses her basic attack, allies once again gain a valuable skill point. At the same time, Hana's energy is full to the brim and she immediately uses her ultimate, increasing Don Hung's speed and attack. Don Hung uses his skill and ultimate on the enemy. At this time, the enemy is already on the brink of defeat. Finally, under the assault basically of the Trailblazer's right, uh, skill I've, and ultimate, the enemy loses hope the... and surrenders. 
<laughs> Hoping they remember the Ten Lords verdict on Karmic Atonement. And that's a wrap! Mm -hmm. On a red, red notice. notice! Duty of repeated disclosure of highly classified information related to the Ten Lords Commission in public settings. Your precise location has been identified via DTing.com. What? You're hereby informed that a spirit fair will be dispatched for your arrest. For more information, search Ten Lords Crisis or follow Sienjo Local Treasure. Any fines must be settled by 1300 hours to avoid enforcement. Payment account. <laughs> Love or somebody count name Sappho Koski. I'll pay up. Buddy, that's a scam without a shadow, though. That's a scam without a shadow. Before that, let, let, let me have a look at the, the this part again because of for a certain number of turns. An insider brought us a confidential video of Judge Hanya in battle. In the footage, <laughs> Judge Hanya is performing her official duties when she comes upon some foes. And he watched this part of the And immediately uses her skill to yeah, inflict burden on an enemy. Skill? During this time, as long as allies attack enemies with burden, they obtain a steady stream of skill points. <laughs> her allies intuitively understood. Ah! Okay. If you look right at the bot uh, on on the skill point, right? Hold on. During this time, as long as allies okay, so attack Hanya enemies with burn, they obtain skill. a steady stream of skill points. Mark the enemy. <laughs> then, regardless whether the 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 following character uses um a basic attack or an elemental or or a skill, right? Allies intuitively understand. You will regain a um, a skill point. On that particular mark character, the trailblazer okay. used a skill against the enemy and gained a skill point through triggering burden. After Dong Hun uses his well, skill on the enemy, neat. March Seventh utilizes the skill point obtained from burden to protect allies with low HP. That's kind of neat. After Judge Hana uses her basic attack, allies once again gain a valuable skill point. At the same time, Hana's energy is full to the brim, and she immediately uses her ultimate, increasing Dong Hun's speed and attack. Yeah, but what's the meaning of this that? She only increases the speed and attack of a single um single character, which is a bit of a kind of turn off. Because personally, I would prefer if um the entire team's speed or attack has been increased as well. But at the same time, right, that's practically the feature of a five star character. So I can I can understand why they kind of nerf or sorry or should i say tone down this uh her ultimate to a single target instead of the um aoe instead because hanya is a four star character so this is this is kind of neat this is practically a but a budget of a better five star character and as a matter of a matter of fact right i believe asta she also increases the speed of the of the characters as well but asta she increases the entire uh the entire team's speed it probably depends on on the scaling of how much speed as both asta and hanya increases probably asta increases a wee bit more or uh, a certain amount a certain less amount of um compared to Hanya while Hanya increases more speed using the fact that she only increases um speed and attack for a single target I mean uh, who knows I'm not really I'm not really sure maybe I would I, I might have to um, do some research for after after this continuing Don Hung uses his skill and ultimate on the enemy at this time the enemy is already on the brink of defeat finally under the assault of the Trailblazer's skill and ultimate, the enemy loses hope and surrenders. <laughs> Hoping they remember the Ten Lords verdict on Karmic Atonement. <laughs> yeah, so that's Anya is basically um, something more like a debuffer. She's both a buffer and debuffer at the same time. She's not that bad, but unfortunately, she's not that mind blowing. That's all, but. I will definitely get Hanya without a shadow of a doubt because she's kinda she's kinda hard to be very honest. But unfortunately she's not on my priority list. But then again, right? Any four star characters that has been released so far is gonna be available in this in the standard banner from what I understand. So 
I believe in version 1.6, Anya will be available in the standard banner. Maybe I'm... But then again, that's what that... That's what um, Hoyos has been doing for the past a year or two. And I think that's pretty much my reaction to keeping up with Star Rail, Hanya Begone to Overtime and Overtime.